All right, what's up everybody? We're back. Now we're heading to Costco. I totally forgot to turn it back on the camera. You totally missed a, a lot of uh, cool action there. We were going through the Gilcrease Court Orchard and a lot of people were walking across and then we had some cops too. But I look and my video was off. So we are heading to Costco. We got a couple routes in the destination. So we're doing Costco and then Lowe's. So we're gonna not change any routes on this. We're just gonna let it see if it can take us there. And then we're gonna see if we can maneuver onto the freeway, do some lane changes and get to Lowe's. This is 12.3.4 FSD supervised on the Performance Model 3 2023. We're on hardware three. Doing pretty good job maneuvering the large lanes. It's been doing a lot better. Again, the, the biggest issue I see right now is just the lane changes. It goes for the lane change, but doesn't fully commit, and then it drives back into the, the, the lane. Kind of a very dangerous behavior. But with the rollouts coming like almost weekly now, they should be able to squash those bugs. Now, are we gonna choose the right turning lane or stay in the left lane? It always does a little bit of hesitation here. Although it, the path planning for right now is pretty good, but we're right in the middle of both choosing the left and that's what I ideally always choose although I've seen in the past beta will choose the right lane and then sit here and just let a line uh, cars I'm really not sure if that's programmed in or if it's just going based off other people's behaviors all right we got the green and we are pulling out a smooth acceleration out of there not as fast as uh, other behaviors earlier today Merging over, and we are clear. And we are on average, no minimal lane changes, and so we'll be keeping it on for today's drives. Auto set speed currently set to off. So this is the automatic set speed offset where beta controls the speed in all the city streets. I don't like it though, we have no control, and it's been going a little uh, aggressive. So at least with the offset, we can kind of control it up and down with the scroll wheel here. We got our right turn. Nice smooth deceleration. Full stop and we're going. Good distance away from the curb. Got to put in our left arrow here shortly. Shortly. <laughs> so this, this, uh, right lane actually you have to take a right what's funny is i've seen beta do it this multiple times this is the long the furthest it's ever got to that lane before it changed lanes it's just kind of like a big mixed bag of tricks you never really know what you're going to get with these updates and it kind of keeps it exciting and fresh and it's so smooth now that i, I definitely love using it everywhere like someone i saw a comment on x the other day talking about like why would i use it when i can just drive myself there's something to be said about just sitting here and and uh, watching. Watching. Uh, all right, let's see. Is it our turn? It is our. It was our turn, but we kind of made a mistake. Let them go, and or we didn't react quick enough. Now across this intersection is where it would always go wide here, and we are planning very good on the inside. This is probably the best trajectory I've seen on this road. We do have a bike ahead right in the corner here. But yeah, there's something to be said about just sitting here and, and uh, supervising full self-driving. I'll put my head on the wheel now. Now this biker's right here though. Doing great. Very human-like. So it looks like we're going to be skipping this stop sign and turning left. On It did have some problems right here in this area where the lane kind of shifts and it wouldn't change lanes. And then we do have some speed bumps to test. All right, perfect stop on the throttle. Great acceleration. That acceleration never gets old. All right, so coming right up here, you can kind of see the yellow uh, line 
it's going to curve to the right before we take our left, somewhere about right there. So right now we kind of got to be inching over this way to the right, and we're not. We're Okay, so that's a complete fail there. I don't like that. I mean, not completely, right? I didn't cancel it, but any sort of traffic there, it, it's a odd sight seeing that you driving straight at somebody, you know? We, you got to be way more aggressive and get over into the right side. Uh, we got speed humps, we got cones, we got cars. We are just cruising. So here's our first hump. No visualization, same hump or showing the hump and we are just cruising through it too Ooh, way early break there it almost braked for the hump lettering and not the hump itself although this car in front of us doesn't give us a good test bed because he's slowing down and and then again we're trying to keep our distance from him as well slowing down Right, now here's Costco. We will be pulling into the parking lot, but we will not be stopping. Good distance from the curb. Light traffic here on this Saturday. And we're just kind of inching through the parking lot here. Let's go ahead and edit our route. Cancel Costco. Lowe's is back in. Nice behavior, just cautiously navigating the parking lot. Now, I'm not sure if we're taking, it looks like we are taking a right out of here, but it's hard to see around this truck. Well, we'll have to creep for visibility. I can't see yet. And there is a lot of traffic that comes through here for Cafe Rio. All right, we're, we're kind of clear. I think I'm gonna go ahead and disengage there because I can't see how close we are to the curb. I think we would have made it, but I just don't want to curb my wheel today, just in case. All right, we are taking a left out of here. Got a car coming, and we are inching. Just inching. I'm not too sure if this is human-like behavior or not. People don't tend to inch this slow. All right. Now this is going to be an interesting maneuver because we got to cut across and then left arrow around this large kind of roundabouty thing. I don't know what you would call this, but let's see. We're pulling out. Got no traffic on any side, so this is the perfect opportunity. We got one car coming. Are we going to go? We are going. Got to get in the far lane, and we pulled it off. Wow, it's so amazing that there was absolutely no traffic in this area because usually you'll have like 10 cars coming this way, five coming this way, two trying to get around. It's a difficult maneuver for a human driver. All right, we got everyone turning uh, right on red here. And are we gonna pull up like a human? No. We gotta do a full stop. This guy behind me is about to hit us. Let's go. It took like five tries and it pulls out, it slowed down. I'm not sure how much of that we lost. The GoPro overheated or turned off, but we're back on. We do need to get into this furthermost lane. And I do like the behavior. It does always go straight for this far lane every single time. Just has one smooth transition in the lane. I don't mind. exit or our merge lane into the next freeway now another behavior does here it kind of waits too long see I, I would have already started merging in and then it has to kind of auto correct you can see it kind of going forward and then it does some big maneuver like that I we need to smooth out those lane transitions can you believe if those lane all the lane transitions would be smooth it would be like people's minds would be blown that is for sure. I mean, it's already doing pretty amazing at just uh, navigating, 
but if you can just tweak those lane maneuvers and I feel like we're too far ahead for this to ever go back guys like the future has already been introduced There's, the the matrix has already been set you know we're just kind of following this timeline and we will see it like I I'm curious if my daughter so she's 11 right so in five years will she actually be driving herself is the question we did do a pretty good break here not sure why it was breaking now we're entering the freeway the freeway merge I will say one thing, I think the 12.3.4 is definitely uh, an improvement over 12.3.3 and that is great news because it doesn't feel like it's regressing back any, it's only progressing forward. Now we are in, we back entered the new freeway here and we are going to stay in this lane to exit hopefully. What do we have now? We have it on average minimal lane changes. One thing, you, whenever you turn it on to see it, it does bump it over automatically so, but I'm going to keep it in average, no minimal lane changes. do exit here we'll have to merge quickly into the left lane to make our turn choosing the right fork to stay on route it says now we don't want it to go in the furthest lane because then we'll be stuck on the far right so it is staying in the right lane perfect Got the green protected right. So this is the exact lane we'll want to be in to merge into the left. Wow, so smooth on the, the motions, the inputs. Now we want to stay in, getting over to the left lane quickly. Very nice. And then one more left lane. Again, ideally the furthest lane would be best. But for some reason, I always see FSD trajectory into this middle lane. I think that's another error. Like if you know you got to make another left turn soon, you should caution to the furthest lane over. And there was about the same amount of traffic today in both of these lanes, so I'm not sure why it chose this one again. All right, we're back. We're pulling out. The GoPro overheated again. A lot of traffic behind. We're merging over quickly. If we didn't merge quickly, we would never make it out of these type of areas. Got the blinker on. So far, loving 12.3.4. Pretty sweet. I think we'll want to move over into this left lane shortening. It, sound, it feels like it's kind of treating this like it wants to move over. It was kind of slowing down. We do have a fire truck up there, so it's kind of like pacing right now. I don't like this pacing behavior because we are in a 45. All right, so it merged very good. I mean, I understand why it was pacing, but you don't want to pace for too long at a slow speed. And it changed our route on the fly. Let's see if we can change it on the fly. All right, I changed it on the fly, and we are not taking the left perfect. So it's funny because it gave us this route originally. As soon as we pulled out of the lows, it looked like it rerouted back back to the original route. It always takes us around the other side. But I kind of like this one when that light is red. It gets us into the parking lot quicker. All right, slowing down way too early for this merge. And this is a tight spot to pull in with traffic. FSD is a little bit goosing around on the wheel, just kind of wondering what the hell it's going to do. Oh, kind of, it's kind of a cocking to the right now, cocking to the left, and it's doing, oh, I might cancel it. It was going to do a U-turn there. I guess the U-turn was on the route. My, I'm going to say it's my fail for not paying attention to the route on that one. Because it seemed like it wanted to do a U-turn there for sure. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your feedback down below, and we'll see you on the next one.